Yeah, look at that. Immediately the best shot of the day right there, buddy, okay? Yeah. Immediately. It's really loose at the top. I feel like there's a second pause up there, okay? okay? Just hold it up there, rock solid. No extra movement with the club. So here's some stations for my man. So this is great for the viewer here. So one of these stations What's great for him is just something to visualize him starting the ball right up his line. We you see this to one keep a the, lot. Um, you can keep that in there yeah. for a while. It's, 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 it's easy yeah. to keep in there. But this is that feeling of hitting a pull cut that I talked about earlier that he really needs to feel. Yeah, look at that. Immediately the best shot of the day right there, buddy, okay? Yeah. Immediately. You know, and that's, that's just, it's no surprise, but you, he responds well to that stuff. You know, that's the thing I, his irons got really, really good the minute I did a, a couple different things for him. So I had, this one's great. It's very, just, I call it non-invasive, just easy. You know, it's not really getting in the way of your golf swing. There's this one also, right? Just one sec. There's the one where I would keep it, go ahead and set up. Thanks, buddy. I would keep right on line with the shaft, I'd go back, I'd pretty much split the shaft and the feet line just to give him a visual of keeping it on top of that plane. I also had another one matching the exact same angle in front of him like this to help him finish a low left and swing underneath it. Because essentially in order to hit a pull cut, what we're, we're setting you up right here to feel like your hands miss this right here. Yeah. Boom, exactly. And that's, and that's what's gonna stabilize the club face. But all those little drills are little homemade stations and uses of an alignment rod that can really help your game. Um, so yeah, just that's, that's a wonderful way to get after it though. This one's great here though, because once again, nothing that feels like it's gonna interfere with your swing. <laughs> that's a strategic placement right there. <laughs> That ball clipped it right there. In all fairness to you, you, you did move it over one inch on the divot. Did I? Yeah. I Gotta almost go down the divot row there, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Oh. Doesn't that ball flight just get so much better when he does that? So before, for, for our viewer to know, the ball flight was still, it wasn't, it wasn't starting left, it was starting on line it was just loopy. It was still turning five, six to the right. We have a little wind coming out of the right right now, right. so it shouldn't be turning that much, right? No. But the good news is, and the reason I'm optimistic about it, is it's starting online. Yeah. So what, what component of, the, of it do we have down? We're getting that path dialed in. The path is getting a lot straighter, and, and that made me feel good. The contact was a lot better. Ball flight was a lot better. Just to still have the, the turn. Yeah. The minute that I put that rod up, though, that yeah. ball's freezing now in the air. Yeah. So you just gotta lock into the feeling that you have when you do that. Right. Yeah, I mean, I know me personally, more lead arm dominant. It's like, think about hitting a backhand in tennis, right? You're doing it with one hand a backhand, mm -hmm. and it's basically, you know, the racket is the back of your hand here, right? right. And if I lead like this, it's gonna be a little more open. Heel first longer. Yeah. If I, if I you know, go like this, it's gonna be a little top spin draw yeah. forehand, yeah. okay? So you should be able to feel that sensation and stabilize that, right? right? And just not have that immediate instinct to go like that. Right. Where it gets uncontrollable is when you do get a little bit loose up here. Right. And that's, that's where, right. yeah. Hey, this is unbelievable, check this out. Okay, so I have to like bring attention to this because this is truly incredible. This gentleman right here, Mike Barber, is about to set the world record for most times ever breaking his age in the history of the game. Wow. Documented. And it's incredible that he's right here at Bernardo Heights Country Club, longtime member, but um, I believe he's 83 years old, and he 
I peep never for the most part. Look how smooth that is. I know, you guys, that ball flight's so good. And it's it's unbelievable. And and he's 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 gonna break the record here soon. I'll even ask him here in a second what when, he, when he's gonna do that and how many rounds he shot uh, better than his age. But from all of his buddies and from what he tells me, he breaks his age every time he plays. And I believe he's a one handicap, you guys, from the men's tees, still shooting 72s, 3s, 4s, and 5s. It's unbelievable. Hey, Mike. Mike, how many rounds do we currently have under our belt? 911. How many more do you need? 1138. All right, buddy. 911. <laughs> Good. It's okay. I don't mind that. Go ahead. Um, take. I'll take. I'll take the uh, the bucket out. Ooh. 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 I mean, how much better are these shots getting, though? Yeah. It really is just nice to see. It I is mean, a lot better. Here's the thing about it. it, it it's. It's making for a very non-eventful <laughs> you know, yeah. session. Yeah. No, because really, I mean, we're going to get the driver out and see if we can get that guy going. Yeah. Uh, longer club always it needs a little bit more work. But just the visual for a good athlete a lot of times can make a big difference in the swing without creating too many thoughts. So, you know, if your player's hitting the ball out to the right, to the left, you know, just a simple placement. Let me see your club real quick. If I'm a righty and I'm hitting in this direction, just a simple placement of a golf ball behind a ball. And you know, I put the ball there. Guess what? I get the path more on top of it. I can swing more left. I put the ball here. Well, guess what? I can you know, swing more underneath it. Some people respond really well to the ball in front. You know, just putting the ball here, putting a ball in front, and for a cut, just trying to feel like you start at left edge of the ball, move it around, or right edge of the golf ball for a draw. Um, those are easy, easy ways to, to help the path of the swing. But right now, we are just all about getting that club on top of it right. and starting that thing online yeah. in a tight window. I don't mind shots that stay dead straight. Yeah. If they draw a yard or two, okay. But I want them to cut a yard or two. It'd be yeah. great to see. It's mainly because of the draw. It's because of this. It is. You know, it's, it's the quickness at the top. You get very loosey-goosey, and, you know, it's just, and, and that's where it just goes. Right. And you're fast, too, and that's the thing you're, with your speed, dude. Yeah. I mean, you just get loose at the top, and with that speed coming down, it's just that club's whipping through there and it can put some big old mean spin on the ball yeah. in different directions. Oh my gosh. These golf balls are so frozen. Mm. I mean, you couldn't hit those any better, dude. No, those good. are fantastic right there. Yeah, those it's actually just, cutting this, too. I know, let's take one video before we, before we switch, switch to a driver, okay? Just so we can show our Show our viewers what we got going and why the swing's better. Mm. My goodness, that is just so good right there. Wow. We've done a lot of work on straightening out the hands in our backswing, having the hands come back straight and not lifting the club way to the top. Much better swing right here. Yeah, that club's around plane. It's not bouncing around the top nearly as much, which is great. When it comes down, it shallows out. But look, it's coming down on the forearm. It gets just a hair under, but it's perfect right there. I, I love it. Look, at it's right on top of the golf ball, and it's definitely, definitely flipping less. See the club face still through the golf ball? It's actually here and not rotated over like it used to be. You know, it used to always get a little bit of a tossed look through there, and now it's actually stabilizing. So you can't argue the ball flight. It's dead straight. And uh, it's a gorgeous golf swing, buddy. So you just keep working on the same things, you know? Yeah. Just making sure everything stays together at the top, rock solid in transition. Right. And the feeling that you're getting right here from putting those little stations up, yeah. okay? All right, buddy. Get the driver out. Right. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.